okay dear students so let us uh, read this question first so there are two balls x and y with the same diameter and they are fired horizontally with the same initial momentum from the same height the mass of x is greater than the mass of y air resistance is negligible so this condition is very very important because there are many questions in ib in which the air resistance is not negligible you have to consider this so um, it becomes very important for us to first of all verify whether the air resistance is negligible or not and so it is uh, completely mentioned here so no problem what is the correct what is correct about the horizontal distances traveled by x and y and the time taken by x and y to reach the ground okay fine so let us first of all make the diagram here let us say this is the building from which two balls have been kicked and they have been kicked in a horizontal manner so let us uh, uh, see what are their velocities what is given to us is that the momentum of x is equal to momentum of y and by momentum we mean the product of mass and velocity and in the second statement here it is written that the mass of x is greater than mass of y so this means that the ratio mx by my will be greater than 1 and from this our second equation we will see mx divided by my is equal to uy divided by ux and this will be greater than 1 as it can be seen from that point so we find this that the velocity of y is greater than velocity of x so obviously it means that if if, if the body is thrown with a higher velocity in a horizontal manner it will reach uh, to the farther distance so the body that is reaching the farther distance will be y and x will be the trajectory of x will be somewhat like this so the distance traveled in a horizontal manner by x will be lesser than y we are sure about that so according to the option we can see that c and d they are they can be the correct answers either the correct answer will be c or it will be the d so we have to see the second option the second uh, part of the question that is time to reach the ground now what is time to reach the ground t we know the formula for this time is root of 2h by g okay this is the time period this is the time taken by the body when it falls on the ground when it is dropped so the time formula is root of 2h by g so as it is um, uh, it, it can be seen here it is evident from the formula that this does not depend upon the mass of the body it is independent whether the body is heavier or whether the body is lighter so the time taken by both of the bodies will be exactly same so x and y they are having the same time yeah so our answer is c all the best